check 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 welcome back welcome back welcome back and today in this video i got rocky and apollo with me the roddy twins check them out on instagram roddy twins nc and also i like to send you love from north carolina when i went to my breeder my breeder is out of virginia shout out to him when i went to him i told him that i wanted his biggest pup from the litter and i told him that i wanted the smallest pup from the litter basically what i wanted to do was i wanted to have a big strong rottweiler and i wanted to have one that was smaller in statue it's a helicopter passing by i live beside the hospital so i'm gonna let this helicopter pass by y'all hear that y'all hear that boys they are always on alert they pay attention to everything you guys so as i was saying i told my breeder i want the largest pup from the litter and i want the smallest pup from the litter now rocky he is the smaller pup from the litter and apollo he was the biggest pup from the litter they're both at this time right now six months old and i must say that rocky has almost caught up with apollo now you're gonna say you know if the puppy's not big when he's a baby that it might not grow up to be big i don't feel like that's true that's like a person when we're born you know we might be small or skinny and then we grow up the person might grow up to be big and, and stout i believe that every dog or every puppy is beautiful in their own unique way you might want your puppy to be a certain shape a certain size or to grow up to be looking like someone else's dog but to be honest every puppy is unique every dog is unique in their own way all all the dogs i've seen all the rottweilers i've seen they're all unique in their own special way just because Rocky is smaller and Apollo is bigger, I love them just the same. They both love me just the same. I just feel like it's all about, now this is just my personal opinion. I want you to drop down in the comments because like I say, I'm not a breeder and I am not a trainer. I just feel like it's all about how you treat your dog. If you spend a lot of time with your dog when they're a puppy, if you spend a lot of time with them, play with them, take them places, do things with them, of course they're going to have a better temperament than a dog that's going to be chained up to the tree all day long. I wouldn't want to be chained up to a tree all day long, would you? So, no. I got to be honest. They're both turning out beautiful. Rocky, even though he was the runt or the smallest one out of the litter, he is turning out to be so beautiful. He's slender. He's getting a little bit of muscles on You know, he's getting a little bit of muscles on him. Look at the coat. Look at the sun shining off the coat. Come here. Come here. Come here, Apollo. Come here. And they're at the lazy. Now, we've been running around the track at the park. But look at the coat. These guys are amazing. And look at Rocky. He was smaller, but he is just as beautiful. You know, don't let anyone trick you into saying, oh, the dog might look like this. They might look like this. You know, we don't know what a dog is going to look like when they grow up. When the puppies come out and there are 10 or 12 puppies in a litter or four or five, you can't look at a puppy and tell, oh, he's going to look like this when he grows up. You know, yes, to a certain extent, you can look at the parents and tell, treat your dog like they're a champion. If your dog is small, if your dog is not as big as someone else's dog that you know, treat your dog like they're a champion. Like my dogs, they're not the biggest, you know. I'm not going to claim that they're the baddest, but I love them. I love the way they look. I love the way they act. And I'm happy with my choice. I was a little skeptical, skeptical about going with the Rottweiler breed because I was like, man, am I going to be able to handle them when they get bigger? But I'm not afraid of them. Look, I just... You know, I play a little rough with them, you know. They try to bite at me and gnaw at me and stuff, but no. Nah. You know, I just I just show them that I'm not afraid of them. And I show them that they could trust me. I put my hand in their mouth, look. Put my hand all in the mouth. Ah, you know. But they've never clamped down on my hand. They've never clamped down on my hand. I did a lot of feeding them out of my hand when they were a puppy. When they were, well, when they were very, very small, when they were like two months old. I did a lot of giving them kibble and things out of my hand. And when they would nibble at my hand, I would just grab them by the neck and say, no. And, you know, they would stop. So now they've got to the point where they, they don't snap at my hand anymore. They just like the attention. They love to just be touched and rubbed and petted. It's just like a human being. We like attention. I'm going to keep it real with you. I love attention. I like to have somebody to show me love and affection. And they're the same way. They want to be loved. They want to be take it to the spa sometimes they want to be petted so just treat them like you would want to be treated that, that's the way i look at it i treat my dogs the way i want to be treated sometimes i want to eat good i want to eat a good 
hot meal sometimes not hot but a good warm meal i get them a good warm meal if it's cold outside i try to take them to the park i'm lucky enough to live beside a park so therefore i'm able to bring them out here on a daily basis if not every day at least every other day and they just come out they just love laying out chilling out i just want to shout out everyone out out there i want to shout out my partners over in big boss kennel rockwallers out of texas ad and morgan shout out to you guys Check out that channel if you haven't. And I'd like to ask you if you would please like this video. And if you don't mind, consider subscribing to the channel. I do daily videos dealing with the Rottweilers. I show different things about them. If it's something new that I learned, I try to pass on the information to you guys. And, you know, let's just try to make the name of the Rottweiler better out here in the world instead of people thinking that they're such fierce, mean dogs. Of course, there's always going to be incidents and there's always going to be, you know, situations come about. But let's try to change the narrative about Rottweilers. Let's put it out there that Rottweilers are loving, caring. Oh, <laughs> loving, caring. Look. Ah, loving, caring animals, which they are. So on behalf of me, Mr. Life is Good here in North Carolina, I want to send you love. I'm here with Apollo and Rocky. He's laying down sunbathing. And we just want to send y'all love from North Carolina. Drop down in the comments. Drop down what type of dog you have. Drop down what your dog's name is. And shout out where you're from. I'm from North Carolina, so shout out where you're from. We love everybody. Peace.